You know, there's a talk. It's a, it's a strange thing. I've never heard this before, but they're talking about negative oil prices. Right. And that's not, you know, for our viewers, they say, well, negative oil, I mean, prices are going down. No, they're talking about prices going below zero. Right. Where you're actually having to pay somebody to take a barrel of oil off your hands rather than, you know, it's like you got junk in the backyard. I mean, oil used to be black gold, right? Right, yeah. Texas tea, all that. <laughs> Uh, but now, tell us what what oil, negative prices mean. Well, we're actually in a situation right now where we are in uh, negative oil prices. The net backs, uh, so every single well has a net back price. So that means that wherever that well is in the country, you're producing barrels at that well. Uh, you're producing crude. Uh, you're getting gas out, uh, liquids, uh, NGLs, those sorts of things. But you've got to get that oil to market. Right. And market hub is where oil trades. So when you see crude oil prices, WTI prices in the 20 to $30 range, um, that doesn't necessarily mean that that equates to the price that they have at the wellhead. So every single well costs a certain amount of money to, to frack. Right. Um, and uh, then you've got to get that product to market. You've got to pay pipelines. You've got to pay right. processing and all those sorts of things to get it to that trading hub area where price trades at. So typically... Uh, when you get out into the field, there's a differential price to the NYMEX that people trade in those local markets. So what I would say right now is that pretty much across the shale industry, we're in a negative situation. Most every producer who is producing crude today, if they don't have hedges in place, which a lot of them do. They do. Yeah, if they don't have hedges in place, then they are in a zero. They're in a negative situation where every get barrel. Oil, take it, take yeah, it, take yeah, it. Yeah, where every barrel they produce is being bought on a differential, and a lot of times they're getting paid less than it costs them to actually frack the well. Yeah, and it, it could even, according to the CNBC story, it could even get to the point where uh, demand has collapsed so much, storage is full that they said that, uh, plus we have the OPEC had a three-year production cap and that's expired. Uh, the Saudis have been unwilling to cap production. Putin and Russia have uh, seen this as an opportunity to increase market share and, and they're worried about the success of the American shale industry. So this oil war, and we heard good news. I mean, the president has talking to Mohammed bin Salman. He's been talking to Vladimir Putin, trying to broker a deal. But there's just, bottom line is there's so much oil and nobody's driving. There's no demand right. for it. Yeah, we've gotten hit with a double situation here where worldwide demand in some reports that I've read are, is off 25%. Wow. So uh, that's a big number. So what that does along with the war is it just creates even more downward pressure on oil prices. Yeah. And so we're in a situation, if you look at the forward curves, we, we're seeing something that we don't typically see and that is a carry in the crude market. So it's it's, it's if you take a barrel today and you just hold on to it, it's showing to be more valuable, in you know, three or four months from now. Right. So it pays to actually take a barrel, put it into storage. So all of a sudden, people that have storage, it's, it's hugely out. valuable.